In this presentation we are going to look at digraphs and relations and what we're going to do is look at this example here given that s is the set of integers 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10 what we were asked to do is as follows let r be the relation defined on s by the following condition such that for all x and y elements of s x is related to y if x plus y is a multiple of 3 draw the digraph of r and state whether or not they're reflexive, symmetric, or transitive. Okay, so let's draw the um, digraph here first. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just draw six vertices. And so five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten okay now what we're going to do is for each um pair of vertices um we're going to add a directed edge now i'm just going to sort of state here just to sort of save time that this is necessarily a symmetric relation if x plus y equals y plus x so it's automatically going to be symmetric so what I'm going to do is just add a one edge uh, between each uh, pair of vertices rather than two. And I'm just going to uh, have two arrows on it instead of one. So the first, let's start with five. Five plus seven, that's equal to twelve. Uh, down here, five plus ten is equal to fifteen. So that's the first pairing we could do. Um, 6 and 9, that would also give us 15. Now, 6 plus 6 is 12. 9 plus 9 is 18. So we have those two there. 8 and 10, yep. That gives us 18. Uh, 7 and 8, that would give us 15. Now, I'm pretty sure I have all of the uh, possible uh, combinations, the pairings of nodes there, the pairings of vertices, but uh, no harm in double-checking yourself. So what we have to do now is decide whether or not this relationship is symmetric, transitive, and reflexive. Now, I've already sort of stated out, out at the start that it's all already symmetric, so it must be symmetric. But what we're going to do now is determine whether or not it is reflexive. So, for it to be reflexive, uh, let's just actually just to first off look at um, 6 and 9. So, 6 is a relationship on itself. Uh, the, this, it would seem to exist here at 6 because 6 plus 6 is equal to 12. Likewise, down here at 9, 9 plus 9 is equal to 18. But those are only two um, cases out of the possible six members of the set. And for the relationship to be reflexive, what would have to happen is that there would have to be, each uh, vertex would have to be uh, have a directed edge directed at itself. Uh, for example, 5 goes by an edge going from 5 to 5, like that. And so on for each one of the each of the six nodes, but that is not the case. So this is not reflexive. Now, finally, we're going to look at whether or not it is transitive. So we have a relationship here between five and seven, or seven and five, and we also have a relationship here between uh, seven and eight. But does uh, for a transitive relationship to exist, necessarily that would uh, mean that five and eight would have a uh, be related, and that is not the case. Five plus eight is equal to thirteen. That is not a multiple of three. So therefore, the relationship R is not transitive, just because one vertex uh, is related to seven. Doesn't and the, another vertex is related to seven. Doesn't mean those two vertices vertices are related to each other. So it's not transitive. So reflexive, 
No. Symmetric, yes. Transitive, no. Okay. Uh, to give a few counterexamples, uh, you could just sort of uh, discuss like what I've done there uh, for five to seven to eight and so on, and also the just this is just the question you just ask for counterexamples. Just like make a few remarks about those type of things there. All right, that ends the the presentation.